See? And somebody came along that low key sparked my interest, right? So I was like, huh? Turn this that way. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm really a perfectionist and whatnot, but welcome back to my channel. It's your turn to be a if it's I'm no, no, no. Ah, okay, so today's video. Hold on, my dad texted me. Oh, hey, hey. okay, so you should be able to say about the title. Today's video is gonna be my first book ball book bag. Mukbang, mukbang, however you say it, you feel me? And I'm excited. I cannot wait to like dig in. One, because I'm starving. Two, I love food. And it's been a minute since I recorded something, you know, straight to the camera. So let's just get right into it. I got my food right here. Uh -huh. And yes, I'm ghetto. I'm eating in my bed. Ghetto shit I've ever seen in my bed. <laughs> the girl is about to eat in her bed for one. And for two, she gonna be ghetto and use this as a little tray to keep all her food in because I don't wanna spill nothing on my bed. So, yeah. So, as for my meal for today, I ordered from the Korean. The, so, I ordered from this place called Taiwan Garden. And we gonna see what they get in like because the girl is hungry. Okay, let's pause real quick. As you'll see through the rest of the video, the food was good, but it will send you to the bathroom. So do not do it. I repeat, don't do it. I think I'll order some Hunan shrimp. I love seafood. Even though this is probably fake seafood. But we gonna talk about that. We gonna talk about that. Yes. What are these called again? Fortune cookies. Yes. I told them to give me a lot of duck sauce and so far all I see is three. I'm upset. Oh, oh. Oh, about the noodles. Huh. Alright, okay, so um, So I ordered some Hunan shrimp and I got two spring rolls and I ordered a brown sauce. If you don't know what brown sauce is, girl, I'm about to put you on. Cause sometimes curry I'll be dry. Always get white rice. I don't be like the fried rice. My spring rolls, yes, they look good and they smell good. Okay, to be honest, I was really scared to order from this place because Charlottesville, they carry y'all gonna be hitting like the the DC DM, not the DMV, but the DM. They don't be hitting like that, so I was scared to order from here, y'all. But it looks good. I'm excited. Also got my water. This is what the Hunan shrimp came in. All I see is a lot of vegetables so far. Hold on, I said an extra side of brown sauce. That's why I didn't get no tip. Because y'all didn't get my brown sauce. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. God, I'm like ugly. Hmm. Hmm. But let's see if this hit on. See, this is why I use the little thing because I don't care about this. But if that was on my bed, I would have been mad. Do you smell it? That smell. The kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells. Smelly. You know, you gotta inspect the stuff. This is what it looks like, you guys. Can y'all see? Let me show y'all everything. It look like they put a lot of sauce in there though. Let me make sure I don't spill it. But who knows has shrimp supposed to come with a lot of vegetables and stuff? All I see is like three pieces of shrimp so far. Y'all got me dent. Y'all got me dent. Y'all got me dent. My spring roses in here. Hold on, let me open the rice. And this look like fried rice. And this look like fried rice. And I don't like fried rice. Let me get my little shrimp together. 
so I can show y'all. Also brought a bow and a spoon because you know I gotta make my stuff. Y'all know, y'all know. But this is what everything looked like. Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta get a thumbnail. That looks stupid. Hold on. Alright, so let's dig in. Okay, so boom. First thing I want is my um my spring bow. Because I've been eating for a while. So while I'm eating, let me tell y'all how today was supposed to go. So I have been trying all day to record a makeup story for you guys, right? Dang. This joint hit, okay? This joint is hitting. This right here. That's my problem. I haven't had a spring roll in so long. So it's really hitting right now. But while I'm talking to y'all, I'm really about to F this food up, okay? So yeah. Like I was saying, all today I've been trying to film a makeup look for you guys. Okay. I thought it smelled something, but it smelled good, okay? So, all today I've been trying to do like this smoky eye tutorial look for like winter. I was going to do like a smoky dark eye with a red lip. It was going to be so cute. So, I get all, I get all my stuff together and whatnot, you know. All my filming equipment and whatnot. And one of my cameras would not charge. And I'm like, okay, I have another camera, so let's just use that one. So I'm, I was trying to use the camera that I'm using right now, but this camera wouldn't upload or link to my viewfinder. And I'm just like, what's pretty good? Like, why y'all not trying to let me be great today? I was trying all day to make it work and I was like what the heck maybe it's not my camera maybe it's my computer so I turned off my computer restarted it and it finally worked I was like dang it's too late to be filming a makeup story now so I'm just about to like not record today I'm gonna be annoyed so I was like wait pause you hungry you taking a break oh, I'm still messed up I was like, dang, I don't want to just not record at all today, so let me try to record something else. And I saw this girl do a mukbang, and I was like, I should film a mukbang because I already got food on the way. So, ding, ding, ding. I was like, I'm not going to waste today, totally. I'm still going to record for y'all. Speaking of recording, I want to participate in Vlogmas, but let's be real. I'm a student, I'm in college, and I'm currently going through final season. And I have finals all the way up until December 15th. So, doing Vlogmas just isn't realistic for me, but hold on, like, usually Huna and Shrimp is supposed to have, like, the baby carrots and all the vegetables. This just got broccoli. I feel ripped. TFO. It got broccoli, green peppers, and mushrooms. Where's the baby carrots? That's my favorite type of vegetable. Now y'all got me feeling some type of way. Y'all even like mushrooms or like that. Like what's really good? You know what? I'm pissed. I'm fucking pissed. Anyway, instead of doing vlogmas, I'm gonna try to do. 10 videos in December. I'll be at home for some of the part of December, so I should be able to like get more videos out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Hopefully we can make that work. If not, I'm so sorry. Oh, it tastes good. It tastes good. It tastes good. It's wet. I didn't burn. Amen. Okay. Hold on. Let me taste this shrimp. The shrimps are big. Like, can y'all see that? The shrimps are really big. So that's a good thing. The flavor is, is okay. Okay. It ain't busting like DC secret y'all, but it's alright. Okay. Because it, it's y'all like, it's hitting right now. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry and I only ate once today, but it's hitting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all could tell that I was going through it today because of how I look. Like, do y'all see my hair, my face? I look stressed. I just got on a hoodie. This hoodie not even mine. But we ain't going to get into that. But, um, I just look really chill and at home. Real comfy and cozy and whatnot. And this is the type of return that y'all will get today because I've been through some, some BS trying to film for y'all. What should y'all talk about? I don't know how people film mukbang on a regular because I just want to sit here and eat. I don't feel like talking. It's feel good. I'm not sure exactly. I don't want to talk about just one topic. So I want to talk about like a life update if that makes sense. I want my subscribers to know me on a personal level. I don't know why I keep talking with this phone. <laughs> like, it's helping me get my point across or something. So, let me chill. But, I want y'all to, like, know what I be experiencing on the daily and stuff, right? So, let's talk about my life. Hmm. What's been going on? Hmm. Let's talk about dating. I'm about to give some advice to y'all on dating. First of all, before you start dating, you need to know that if you don't date, it's not the end of the world. And if you go looking for someone or something in someone, you're definitely not going to find it. Okay? Let's remember that. So, you just got to let whatever you're supposed to experience in life come to you. You know? You can't go looking for it. So, that's what I was doing. I was minding my business. And somebody came along that low-key sparked my interest, right? So, I was like, huh. And, like, I just think it's, it's, like, ten times better when you least expect to like someone. Instead of you looking for someone, setting your expectations high, and then being disappointed when things don't work out in your favor, you know? So, yeah. From my experience, when it comes to dating, don't be looking for people. Just let the people come to you. I mean, you feel me? Especially if you're a female. Especially if you're a female. The men are supposed to, like secure the woman you're not supposed to secure the man well that's up for the beat you know so i'm just gonna move on wait this is really good like oh my god mm. and hold on y'all back to the food when it comes to bad food with shrimp in it you gotta make sure that like the shrimp are clean and deveined because you know they be having a little boo-boo in there don't eat that. You gotta make sure that it's clean. And all these shrimps are clean. Yes, y'all, yes. Hmm, second thing when it comes to dating, I really feel as though you should be friends before y'all start, like, period. Period. Okay, wait. I'm running out of food. I need some more rice. But, oh Jesus. Um, just so you know what kind of person you about to get yourself involved with, you know? You need to know the person mentally a little bit before you like want to invest your time your feelings your emotions you feel me like just get to know that person as a friend first because people be wilding out here people's intentions are not always the best so before you get yourself involved when you start thinking like oh my god this person could be good for me girl just be friends with them first of all you're building a friendship that's always good second of all if it don't work out romantically Hopefully, if y'all mature enough, you can still have a friend. And then thirdly, if you do become friends with a person and you notice that they have certain flaws or characteristics that you just can't look past, then you'll know from the jump before you start wasting your time. And that's what's wrong with this generation today. Y'all don't want to be friends. Either y'all looking for something physical and you just want to do the yeah and bounce. Or these females out here want to use men for their money. And the clout and this and the third. Like, y'all be looking for the wrong thing in people. Some people look for the wrong thing in people. And that's not good. But I'm just talking to y'all while I'm eating my food, you know. I am no expert. Trust and believe. You don't know what kind of experiences I've been through. You don't even want to get to. Mm. Y'all, I got stories on times I've been cheating on. I got a story on the time I cheated. Cheaters are not always cheaters. Sometimes it's a lesson in cheating. Okay? Let's put that out there. I could also do a story time on, like, the worst date ever. Like, the worst date I've ever been on. 
I got a story time on being in a love triangle. Like, oh my god, comment down below what y'all want me to do a story time on next because I got y'all. I got y'all. Also, more advice for dating is when someone approaches you and they don't seem to be your type, like, I recently just went through this, but you never know what or who could work for you. My like, truth. God was like, sis, open your eyes, I'm proving you wrong. And I was like, okay. Having a specific type and always like looking for this type of person or canceling people out if they don't meet these kind of requirements, like unless they're extremely important to you, like religion or stuff like that, then you should really chill out on that because you are probably blocking your blessings and you don't even know it. Today's topic wasn't supposed to just be on dating. It was supposed to be on like a life update. So, update y'all. I'm going through finals. So let's talk about school. If you're in school right now and you're going through finals, just relax. I'm going to give y'all some tips on certain things that help me through finals. Okay, so um, making a planner or getting a planner, filling it out, laying out everything that needs to be done by a certain deadline, and then also underneath it, writing little bullet points of how you want to like achieve those goals you feel me so like let's say i have a test to take on friday at this time and it's for kinesiology i will put that on friday and at the bottom i'll put make a study at go through flashcards reread my readings print out my notes from class something like that so that's one thing that helps me through finals. Also, I'm looking at my calendar right now. If you have a calendar and you put your deadlines on that, it's really, really therapeutic after a long day to like scratch off the day that you just like completed. I don't know why. It just makes me feel better by myself. Like it just makes me feel like I'm actually doing something, you know? Also, I've been going on like study dates and stuff because it just makes me feel better to know that someone else is studying as well and they're going through the same struggles i'm going through this should have been the number one tip do not procrastinate i know it's so easy to procrastinate put it off to the next day say you're gonna do it later but if you have the time just get your assignment done right then and there because finals everything is going to pile up on you you know and at the last minute, you're going to be like, crap, I got to do this, this, and this by this day. That, that, and that by that day. I'm not going to have no time for myself. You know, like, don't even put yourself through that situation. Zoom, zoom, see yourself, boo, boo But yeah, that really wraps up this video. The girl is full. I now have a full baby. I will be due in 20 to 30 minutes. So without further ado, <laughs> That sums up this video. Make sure you give me a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your push notifications. Comment down below what you want to see me do next in my upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.